kits are art play activities in painting, sculpting, drawing, printmaking, and collage. It provides a broad exposure to a wide variety of tools and materials at a very low cost. I've always been an artist and I've always been interested in a variety of art mediums and when I started having children of my own, art was something that was very important to me. And um, just in talking with other moms, one of my best friends, um, you know, I was getting ready to buy a, pur a purchase, make a purchase for her daughter's birthday and I said, you know, what would you like? Uh, you know as a gift and she said you know I have so many clothes and toys I really don't have anything creative I can do with my daughter and so um, an idea was born and I created a go-to box for her that had pre-measured pre-organized activities with instructional cards so that all she had to do was grab an activity and she had an instant creative experience to have with her child right at the kitchen table and it became so successful that um, we really saw an opportunity to share this idea with other families who are, might feel overwhelmed at the idea of creating arts and crafts with their children or storing and organizing a multitude of media for their children to have access to. So it really created um, a perfect opportunity to share this with everyone. There is a difference between art play and crafts. Crafts are wonderful and there's definitely a purpose for crafts. Crafts encourage following instructions um, and following a process. Um, but with a craft, there's always sort of an end result. Make yours look like mine or make it look like this. With art play, the emphasis is process over product. So the real value of art play is in the creative process that the children gain uh, from just the exposure and the freedom to manipulate the materials any way they choose. Um, in the, the art play activities, there's an art technique that's introduced and the adult does do a demonstration of that. However, I highly encourage adults to step back once they've demonstrated the technique and allow the child to freely and creatively express themselves with the materials. Even if no uh, magnet refrigerator worthy pieces um, created at the end of that, the, the experience in and of itself was, was more valuable than that. I do have a philosophy in uh, presenting art materials to children and I do believe that less is more. Um, I've seen many times uh, children completely overwhelmed when they have too many toys available to them or too many art materials. Um, you know, sometimes if you give them an entire color palette to work with, um, say of paint, they're going to use every single color and, and create one sort of muddy globby mess. Um, but by limiting the color palette and limiting what they have available to play with, um, you're actually encouraging creativity and sort of training their eye for color relationships. All of the Kelly Kid activities are um, specially created and designed uh, with specific color palettes and color relationships so that children are actually working with maybe an analogous color relationship or a complementary color relationship. And that in and of itself trains the eye. Kelly kits are so versatile for all ages. We love to say that Kelly kits are for children ages 2 to 102. And I really encourage parents to sit their very young children down at the table and allow them the experience of playing and manipulating these tools and materials, even at, at the age of 2. And um, what's wonderful about Kelly Kids is because they're so adaptable, you can have your 2-year-old at the table and your 10-year-old at the table, and everybody can have a good time. Kelly Kids are now available in a monthly subscription. We have an art club and we will have monthly promotions, contests, drawings. Um, we still sell gift packs as well as birthday party kits. So please visit us at www.kellykits.com for more information. Mm -hmm.